Thanks for joining me today. I do appreciate it a lot. You guys are awesome. Doing a little special video today because I uh, posted a previous video that if you haven't seen, I'll put a link okay. over here. And in on. that video, uh, I posted it at, it's right there. Okay. I, uh, I posted that video because I did something with the clear click. Again, going to have to go watch that video. We'll be right back. But uh, one of the readers of that forum, his name is Dave Xnet. He's been a member for a very long time, it looks like, since about 2008. Go say hi to him. Do you read me? Affirmative, Dave. I read you. Well, he says he watched the video. Thank you, Dave Xnet. Um, and then he asked, is it storing the files as a DVD spec MPEG-2? Well, it's storing it as video and audio, and you can convert it into that particular spec. I'm going to pause this right here because after reviewing this, I realized I'm not sure what you're asking. I don't know what you're talking about. If you're asking what, uh, how it's being compressed when it goes into the clear click, I really don't know. I don't know what chipset they happen to be using, uh, whether it's H.262 or 264. Don't know. Maybe even 265 by this point as its means of compression. Now getting it into MPEG-2 format, if it's compatible with that, that's where this next portion makes sense. Um, using something like VLC. So the, the way that it's actually being stored on the SD card is a, an AVI file or... or uh, Audio video interleave. And then, um, can you post a small sample? Well, here, let me give you an example of what it looks like. Now, I'm going to give you an example of the camcorder, and this is the Sharp. Maybe I could, yeah, see, it's that guy right there, okay? Um, it's the Sharp ViewCam AH151. Now, your mileage is going to vary depending on your camcorder, the lens, all of that stuff. But I will, so this is what it looks like coming straight off the uh, handy cam or view cam. I wonder if this will work. There it is there. And uh, it's coming out, going into that thing, and then coming out HDMI and going into there. That's how I'm doing it right at the moment. Well, that's interesting. I don't know why it does that, but it's doing it. I don't like it. That's what's happening there. And then in a moment here, I'm going to um, take a file from the camcorder from this thing. I'll put it on tape, put it in the SD card. I'll put it into VLC. I'll put it into a format, and then I'll add it to this video right at the end of the video. But before I do that, a guy by the name of, it's that guy, Baywack. Um, he says, yeah, AVI is just a container. Does the box de-interlace, upscale, and put 4x3 into a widescreen frame? The box that I have, the clear click that I have, doesn't do all of that. VLC will, and that's the software that I use. So I've... I can do that there, I can de-interlace, I can do all that. So I do that all in post. Now version 2.0, I believe it will upscale to at least 720, I think. I think. I don't have it. Maybe we ought to go to the website, go check it out, and uh, that, that might answer that question. Happy to help. Thanks for watching. Okay, so right now I'm going to go to this camera. I'm going to press record on the clear click, just like this. I'm going to start recording. You can see, oh, uh, you can see right there. It's recording. And I'm going to take this, I'll throw it into the video. That whole thing there will go away, and then you'll know that it's coming off the file. This is coming off the SD card. This is what it looks like. Your mileage may vary. Enjoy. We'll see you next time.